Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Play. So I was uh, messing around here, <clears throat> and I had uh, I had an idea, and I decided to start building my idea. And then I thought, oh, mere horses, you'd better think about maybe recording this idea and construction. So I've got my <clears throat> multi-layered, multi-materialed, multi-colored beachside tower going up over here. And um, <clears throat> I wanted to make a stage or a, a floor out of poor poor, I think is what it's called. I guess I could have uh, shown that a little bit. Uh, it'll be in here. <clears throat> so these, yes, poor poor popped chorus fruit. So chorus fruit comes from chorus flowers or chorus trees, I guess. And uh, then you cook it into popped chorus fruit, and then you combine popped chorus fruit into poor, poor blocks, and then you can cut poor, poor blocks into a couple of different... Did I not just... What did I just do? Yeah, dough head. <clears throat> So you can make it into slabs, stairs, and pillars. So, <clears throat> the, um, so I've got a couple of chorus fruit trees, or chorus trees, I guess, growing over on the north side of my, northeast side of my island. Over here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what causes, if there's some kind of consistency with the amount of uh, chorus flowers you get. <clears throat> Excuse me a sec, I'm going to clear my throat. So I found that uh, when I grow them out of this end stone block here, and I don't know if it's just coincidence, but I, I think I got like seven or eight one time. The trees sort of branch randomly and then grow flowers at the end of their, their branches. Or I don't think it's quite random, but they branch into either one or two, I think, are the options. Maybe, are there any with three? I don't think so. So here you can see a, a one that's sort of branched one time and then grown up a bit. Um, it'll eventually... So anyway, you can see three chorus flowers over there, plus another stalk that's growing. And I, I had also planted, I had some end stone, sort of an end stone ledge built around the, I guess, base of the monster spawner killer construct that I made quite a while ago now. The physically impossible without ridiculously strong and rigid materials, that is. So you can actually see up on the right hand side there, I started building. My idea was to set up a sort of a chorus fruit or a chorus tree farm. And um, that's what I started building. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if it was up in the sky here and was all glass and surrounded by bricks and everything like that. I built these stairs. My idea was that monsters don't spawn on stairs, but you can't really traverse them smoothly, so that that didn't really work out. I guess I had I thought about it, I think I'd already learned that at some point. So I'm just going to put slabs on there so that I can walk across. And also monsters won't spawn. Oh, did I? I guess I need two more. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, kill some kill some monsters. So I built out this much of it, and I was thinking, okay, I don't know how much spacing I'm going to need, and I'm not sure if this is a wide enough buffer for when the uh, chorus fruit fall down. But basically, it's a three wide buffer around the the uh, end stone block where I will plant the flowers which turn into trees, and then they're every four blocks. 
which means there's a two block buffer in between each stock, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to build this out a bit. I wasn't, I'm not entirely sure if, I don't know if I have enough material to make it perfectly square. Um, I mean, obviously there's no, nobody uh, dictating anything. It's hard to talk and pay attention to what I'm doing at the same time. Uh, and so we'll see. I mean, obviously I have enough end stone, but uh, that's not really the issue. Glass can be obviously made easily enough. I went and harvested a bunch of sand. Um, from one of the desert areas off in that direction. And um, that's where we're at. So I thought it would be possibly interesting to uh, observe the construction of this. Basically, I'm building a big plane up here in the sky. Now, something I haven't actually sorted out was how to light this. And I, I want the lights to be integrated into the into the floor of the structure, I guess. So what I'm currently thinking, I'm gonna have to run down here. Monsters will start to spawn, I think, once it comes night. And I don't really want that on top of my delicate, delicate glass structure here. All right, well, there's a bit more. Um, two more slabs. Oh, a bunch of monsters. A bunch of monsters to murder. So much experience, which I don't really use anymore. Other than, I guess, what would I do with the experience? Um, I guess enchanting things and combining things with enchantments is about it. I've been thinking about maybe making a set of uh, really solid diamond armor here. Although I had, oh no, I lost that, I think. I can't even remember if I have a good set of diamond armor with all the relevant enchantments. I have a full netherite set of tools and armor, which is fantastic. And hopefully I won't lose it, which is always a possibility in this game. Although I've been reasonably careful. For example, if I'm going off to uh, play around with, um, what do you call the things in the deep dark? God. Anyway, you know the monsters, the warden. And if I'm going off to play with the wardens, I won't bother. Or sorry, I will take off my good armor and weapons because you can't really fight the warden. You just have to uh, not trigger it or run away or both. Uh, what am I doing here? I have a little bit of bone, which is not important. I guess I could put the cobbled deep slate away somewhere. Where have I got that? Maybe nowhere other than down here. The spruce planks I was using as a temporary construction material. For some reason, I was without dirt. Obviously, you can use scaffolding, but um, I was not doing that. And, oh, the lights. Uh, I'm going to take those now. Where do I have those? Let's see. There we go. Sea lanterns. Can, what do you need to make sea lanterns? You need five crystals, prismarine, and four shards. So that's not too bad. Um, mouse goes wonky once in a while. Uh, do, 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 do. Where was that? Right there. 
Okay, so I could actually make sea lanterns. I need more. I would need more prismarine crystals to make very many. Uh, it was five and four, right? Six, maybe we'll make. Uh, actually, maybe we'll make. That would be 12, I guess, if I used all of that, right? Yeah, 12 times, sorry. 60 divided by 5 is 12, and then I would need uh, 48 of these. If I have that calculation right. There we are, 12 sea lanterns. Beauty. I uh, obviously used some sea lanterns on my dock here. I'll have to go back to uh, Temple and murder more of those uh, guardian fish, whatever they're called. Running up the stairs into the sky. What's not to like? And then I was thinking I would maybe replace my, oh, maybe not, maybe replace this end stone ledge that goes around the edge of the monster spawner with something else. That one's not growing. Hmm. I had put one there before that did actually grow, but this one isn't. And this one's doing all right, but I'll I'll chop those back maybe. Maybe I'll leave them as end stone, I'm not sure. Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, do, 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 do. So if I was going to make this a square, I would need two more sets of, or two more, whatever you want to call it, ranks of uh, glass and then end stone. Just like that. And uh, fill all that in, and that puts us nowhere near the bridge between islands. Sort of, where am I here? Sort of in between the giant pumpkin patch and the gardens. So that's not too bad. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll build out the frame here. So that's going to be 5, 10, 13, right? 1, 5, 10. I think I even got that right. Wow. Minor, minor triumph right there. So that'll be 16 chorus flowers required. I don't have 16 at the moment. However, I can I can resolve that pretty easily. Oh, I should think about where I want those lanterns to go. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe in the corners here, like so. <clears throat> Slightly wasteful of glass, but that's okay. There's a lot of sand in the world. Okay, now. Now, now, now. I don't know what the radius of light that they cast is off the top of my head. I guess that'll maybe be something for experimentation. I'm going to end up having to break a bunch more glass blocks anyway. So for now... I will just put some in the corners and we'll see what happens when it's dark. I'm obviously probably not going to have enough um, glass to do the, or at least not be carrying enough glass to do this. I have more glass. Lots more stacks of glass and sand <clears throat> so I can 
replenish. That's four. Okay, so we want the end stone there. That worked out pretty well, but it's going to be more than, obviously more than, uh, need more glass. Alrighty, how are we doing? The reason I want uh, this to be basically a big old flat plane is that the chorus fruits fall all over the all over the place, and I don't want to have to go down and go swimming to collect them. Ideally, so I might end up having to widen this a little bit. If I did that, I would probably put a layer of uh, another type of stone or bricks, bricks probably, around the outside edge. Ah, poop. Poop, I laid the block. Okay, let me think here. Where are we going? Well, it's getting there with the exception of the lighting and the extra chorus fruits. I need two more. Oh, there's at least, or chorus flowers, rather. There's two over there. Let me go murder these monsters real quick. How many blocks I need? I've got four by four, one, two. Okay, so probably about 40. Oh, and there's more over here. Maybe more than one stack without actually counting. I think a full stack of glass blocks probably will do it, but I'm not, I'm not positive of that. Okay, let me put, oh, did I not pick up the slabs? Well, that was dumb. All right, let's murder us some monsters here real quick. Come on, you witch. Die, die, die. The witches heal themselves up. have to put some kind of railing or something over here. All right, so in the meanwhile, think about this for a second. Maybe I'll grab the chorus flowers. Whoops, so the best way to harvest the chorus flowers that I've found, because if you just chop down the tree, you don't get any chorus flowers, is to shoot them off like so I think that's it for that one and then chop down the tree everything falls down I'm sure why the whole sweeping edge thing seems to take a minute to, to kick into effect for some for some reason Okay, make sure I've grabbed all the chorus fruit. This one's, I guess, not going to grow. So we'll, oh, hey, I get the flower back. Nice. So now I'll fall down here. This always actually gives me the, what do you call that, butterflies in your stomach when you plummet from a height in this game. Anyway, here we go. Spoosh. Okay. We sink right to the bottom. I guess that's a result of our velocity. That always happens. We'll pick up these flowers and chorus fruit before I go for a swim over to the tower there, which is where we'll get some more glass. 
and um, could mostly do it underwater. Actually, I've got the oh the max enchantments for breathe, uh, respiration and all that. I don't have a potion on, obviously, or whatever engaged water breathing potion, but I should be able to get most of the way over there just swimming underwater. Not that I need to. So we'll pop up by the east end of the bridge here. And uh, I need to remember to make a couple more brick slabs. Oh, me sleepy for real. Okay, here we are. Got a stone cutter here, so I'll make a couple of stone brick slabs. And, oh, I should have looked at the lighting while I was up there. Oh, maybe I won't sleep then. I was planning to sleep, but I think I won't. I want to see what the lighting levels are like. And it is now nighttime, so nighttime is the right time to figure that out. Zombie? Where? What the heck? Oh, outside here. Hello. Where you come from? Probably the uh, sugarcane fields, most likely. Alrighty. We'll just take a run. A run ski back to the... Oh, it looks kind of interesting already, that farm. It's like a... I don't know what, a UFO landing pad or something. If UFO landing pads have to be made out of transparent material and way up in the sky. Guess I can come through this door here. Back to the running we go. So monsters don't spawn on this giant staircase because monsters don't spawn on stairs. To redesign everything, if they do, if that was, if that were to be changed. So these prismarine, what are they called? Sea lanterns, I think they're called. Uh, seem to throw quite a bit of light. Oh, there's another zombie. What we don't want is a creeper, because that will explode everything. Go away. Go die, would ya? So what's our light level here? Light, 9. We don't want it to get down to... Okay, so 7, I think, is the threshold where monsters can spawn. So that's too low. <clears throat> Let's see here. What if I plant one... What's going on here? I thought I... Oh, I didn't lay the second slab. Me smirt. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, what if I plant one right there? And similarly on this side, right here. What does that do to the overall situation? Where's the light? Oh, five. It goes down to five. So that's not a perfect solution. Hmm. However, that's not bad, and it fills my little OCD need for uh, sym symmetry. Shouldn't need that anymore. Let's maybe fill in the old glass blocks. I'll end up breaking a few, but it's a massive desert off to the west and south there, so no shortage of sand in this game. Also, the seafloor tends to have a lot of sand. <clears throat> Oh, looks like I did need more than a full stack of blocks. Did I take more? I think I did. Ooh, one more. So I've got a full stack less one. All right, we'll put that back in the end. Is that everything? Did I miss anywhere? It's not bad. 
Now then, if I were to, I've only got four more lanterns. Now I can't actually, let's take a look, quick scan of the light levels here. So we need a little more on the edges and we need a little more on the center. So what I could do to make this symmetrical is gonna be difficult. So I guess maybe I'll go for a staggered sort of a pattern here. Um, walking through the middle like this. I'll put one there, one there, one there, and one there. So it is not actually symmetrical, but it's not bad. I think that'll satisfy my OCD. So we were, looks like we're good here. I don't see anything below about 10 watching the client light level. The block, oh, nope, over here we've got a bit. Dang, dang, dang diddly dang in the middle here. Um, okay, so monsters could spawn up here. Not much, but a little bit. So I'll have to, I'll get some more lanterns and uh, plant them out by the edges here. Where does that become a problem? Nine, eight, 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 seven. And then all the way down to five, oh, even four. Okay, so lanterns planted in here will do the job. So two more lanterns, I think, will solve that problem. Let me just walk through the middle here to make sure. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, nine. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so two more there will solve it. Oh, and now to plant the... Uh, Chorus flowers, trees, chorus flowers, which will grow to become beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chorus trees. What is not to like? Thus enabling the mass production of poor, poor. Oh, look, they grow, they're growing already. <laughs> This should be interesting looking when they start to grow up, when they're all growing up as trees. There's the the beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Let's take a look through the, the brand new, not quite complete, but pretty complete chorus tree farm. Overworld chorus tree farm in the sky. Okay, let's go murder some monsters and... Uh, Oh, somebody, oh, how did you get out? How on earth did you get out of there? Little, little poopy head zombie. That was mildly unusual. All right, uh, let's see here. I don't care to carry this crap around. Uh, chanted bow, 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 leather pants, chanted helmet. Oh, I'm out of spots. Okay, I'm just going to toss down these things into the sea. I hear another witch over there. Uh, what else? Is that about it? I can disenchant those bows and armor for some extra experience. And... Um, I think witches usually appear in groups of, I'm going to say, two to four is the norm, I believe. Ah, yes, the chickens. The chicken murderers. Bones. Oh, boots. Boots. Let's take the boots. Alrighty. Look at me with all this experience. So I'm going to throw this down. I, oh, was that an enchanted bow? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. 
And I'm going to knock out that block. Oh, I picked it up. Yay. So we'll leave this ledge in place. I'm going to walk around. And um, what else? There's some rails to think about. Put back the glass. Another witch. So that would be three total. Although I guess another group might have spawned. And um, let's go. Couple more sea lanterns, and that should do it. Actually, I actually think I have more in storage there, and then I'll maybe go make a mental note to go kill some of those uh, guardian fish, whatever they're called. I believe they give out prismarine things when they die. Pretty sure they do. Something does over there. It must be those guardian fish. So obviously you get more of the prismarine shards than, uh, than the prismarine crystals. Anyway, two more lanterns. Uh, let's disenchant the armor and such here for the experience. Uh, I should probably be healing up my equipment while I'm at it. All right, equipment's back up to snuff. We will uh, file the golden and iron things for melting down in the future. And um, it's funny, you melt down, you know, golden leggings or a breast, a chest plate, and you get a nugget of gold. It's not, not exactly a a realistic trade system, but anyway, that's fine. Oh, why do I not have any end stone in my end chest? That's odd. Alrighty, uh, anything else to put down? Oh, also chorus flowers too, why? Oh, because this is not the end chest yet, dummy. This is the sea chest. Okay, that would explain it. Durr. There we go. Ender chest. Oh, I can also make a f building story out of endstone bricks. I basically have enough poor poor to make a floor on that tower now. Um, I'll need to make, I probably have enough endstone as well, although that's easily rectified. More endstone is no, no pro, no problemo. Uh, chicken and some bows to dispose of chicken to eat next time I get hungry. Put these bows in the old garburator. The lava garburator that never needs to be emptied. And never cools. Pretty handy. Uh, do I have room for more roasted chickens? I do. Oh, I hardly have any roasted chickens. Now there's 11 and two raw ones. That's the problem with a sword with a uh, fire aspect on it is you uh, you cook those you cook everything you kill with it okay sea lanterns oh do I want some railings can I get railings out of the stone oh I can or walls I should say uh, I think it's six long so I want at least 12 but I'm gonna need more than that actually so let's make it I don't know 32 should be enough That should do it. And uh, was there, an, oh yeah, the, the sea lanterns, which I have. Now the bridge, the little stubby bridge between the monster spawner. It gives that a kind of a funny look up there, doesn't it? The stubby bridge between the monster spawner and the Chorus tree farm is covered with these slabs, so it won't, no monsters will spawn on there. And, uh, okay, let's figure out the, the light thing, which will put one, 
on this side. And then the other one, the other one can go on this side. That should take care of the whole light situation. And now what about some railings on the old stubby bridge? Now this won't prevent me from falling off the platform. Not that it matters if I fall, it's just kind of an annoyance and probably not in compliance with safety regulations. Oh, that's enough. I can't actually... Can I jump onto it? Oh yeah, you can jump onto it. But you can't walk onto it. Hmm, interesting. Well, maybe I'll add some... Oh, it's very solid looking, isn't it? Maybe I'll add some in the middle here. Just for the visual effect. Yeah, that's not bad. And maybe maybe even one more set there to extend it onto the platform. Okay. That's pretty cool. There's the old farm proceeding apace. Uh, do they ever grow more than two away? I think they could. I don't know if they do, but they could. So here you can start to see some of the branching things. There's two on either side of the main stem there. There's Here's an example here where there's two um, kind of at 90 degrees from each other. Here's a three. Here's a three branch. One, two, three. And there's a two and another two. So I think the threes are less common, ones and twos. Branches of one or two new stems seem to be the general rule. There's another three branch right there. One, two, three. Alrighty, time to sit up a little bit. And uh, how close are we to nighttime? Kind of like to see this at night. Where's the sun? Must be going down pretty soon. What are we at here? 37 minutes. Is the moon visible yet? I'm looking in the wrong direction. Okay, the moon would be over here. No, it is not yet visible. The reason I'm thinking about this is to take a, a screen capture. All right, well, why do I not see the sun anywhere? I really don't know what time of day. Oh, there it is over there. Yeah, it's coming evening. Okay. Let's murder us some monsters and then uh, maybe get some sunset uh, sunset vistas there. So witches seem to have infinity of healing potions so they can just drink whenever they darn well feel like it. There comes the old moon. It is waning. Waning? Not sure. It's either waxing or waning. I don't know if Minecraft Moon follows the real world moon in terms of uh, how it waxes and wanes. You can't even remember which, which side the moon waxes and wanes from. That's how much attention I pay on a day-to-day -day basis. All these years on the planet, and I can't even tell you that. I'd have to look it up or go observe the moon for a few nights in a row. Maybe I'll try to pay attention when I see the moon. How are we doing? Dark yet? Getting there. So the moon is... Just now coming above the horizon, we get a very distorted view of the horizon being so high up here. <clears throat> well, you shouldn't say that. Once the stars are out, the moon is well risen. So I'm also thinking that once the tower is tall enough, and I believe that's eight more stories on there, I'll build a bridge, maybe some kind of a curvy... Maybe an S-curve or maybe a multiple sweeping curve here. 
or maybe just one big sweeping curve around that way or something. I'll build a, uh, a flying bridge between the two. I think that would be pretty cool. Similar to this one in in uh, in scope, I guess, scale, length, but a little more curvy, I think, would be my vision for that. I'll have to think about what to make that out of, too, I guess. Something of which I have plenty. <laughs> All right, so the light levels out here are good. I don't think there's any monster spawning going to happen out here at all. So that's good, since I don't want this whole platform to get blowed up or anything. And uh, yeah, this will make my poor, poor mass production dreams a lot quicker. Although that being said, I guess I've got... I've got enough poor, poor as it is to... Uh, to put a floor on the tower for sure, but anyway, it makes a, the platform here makes a nice addition to the to the set of projects that I've done in this in this here world. All the bows to get rid of. What? Whoop! Don't jump off the thing by accident. Although again, doesn't really matter. None of these bows are enchanted. What a ripoff! How are we doing? 40, 40, 41 minutes, 42 minutes. We'll zip down here before the sun comes up and take a look at it from a distance. A nighttime look at it from a distance. Jump up on some of these watermelon or something. Take a look-see. How about we do that right here? Right here, done. There it is. Pretty cool. Scope that out with the old spyglass, shall we? Well, I guess it looks about like I would expect. Not purely symmetrical. Does it have a rotational symmetry? I think it does, actually. If you were to cut it right down the middle, yeah, it does, and spin it 180 degrees, middle going this way. Or maybe even the middle going both ways, actually. Let me think about that. Yeah, I think it does. So if you cut it down the middle in either direction, along the cardinal directions, and spin it 180 degrees, it would line up with itself. It would be a uh, rotationally symmetrical copy of itself. And I could make it a 90 degree, 90 degree one as well. If I were to go lantern there and lantern there, then it would be... 90 degree rotationally symmetrical in this, uh, I guess that doesn't really help, sort of a, if you were to rotate it around the flat axis of the world. Oh, did I? don't really want to jump down onto melon patches. I think they can kick out a seed and you'd have to bring back a, a thingamadoo, a, uh, a hoe. The tool. Yeah, tools. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I don't have tons to put away here. Over in this tower is where I'm storing glass and such because I need quite a few windows to do each floor. I guess I could do a glass floor, couldn't I? I'll probably, yeah, I'll do that actually. A glass floor of the tower. I also am planning to do some kind of uh, almost like the end cities where you have sort of the towers that emerge from one side and, and start growing off and up under their own <sighs> lack of concern for gravity, I guess, is kind of what I'm trying to say. Uh, glass blocks, put those away there. And Oh, I did not put more glass to cook. What was I thinking? Get a cooking. Get busy, you. Oh, I was going to look at the platform, wasn't I? Let's have a look. There we go. Pretty visible up in the sky there. Let's see how close we can get to this with the spyglass. Hey, 
pretty neat. Pretty neat looking thing. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Let's see what this looks like from my window. Oh, what do we got here? Random block of sound. That would be presumably brought in by a by an Enderman. There we go. Oh, I can't really. Okay, let's go look at it through the window. There we go. It really looked too different than it did from the ground floor. Let me run all the way up to the current top of this tower. So I could do some stone things, I guess. As other flowers, uh, flowers, as other floors. So this one's just purely stone. And then we've got uh, polished granite and polished um, diorite. No. Diorite's the light one, I think. So this is andesite, this kind of gray one. And the bottom floor, other than the glass walls, is polished diorite. There we go. That's an interesting view. What the heck? Oh, that was a star. <laughs> Right. There you go. The stars move pretty quick in the telescopic view. Cute. And there's the there's the moon doing the same thing. All right. We've got a quick way down, but you have to be a little careful with it. But you don't smack into the ground and splatter. Here we. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. Ah oh, well. Push right into the bottom of the sea. I think I'm going to not go... Oh, there's a zombie that I can't avoid. I was about to say I'm not going to engage with the skeleton over there, or the spider. Just leave those guys alone. What have they ever done to me? Nothing. That's what. I tell you, nothing. Oh, I should put the sand. I should put the sand away over here. I think I will take this opportunity to, uh, to uh, wrap it up and... Uh, say that's it that's it for this episode of minecraft i'm not sure which episode this is 80 something two or three maybe i hope you got some enjoyment out of that so thank you for watching sit up you idiot take good care of yourselves yeah i'm telling my viewers to sit up hey you you there you the one watching minecraft sit up you idiot that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm telling that to myself, of course. Anyway, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.